We begin with new info on the wild day that Beaumont United students and staff endured. First a power outage, then a lockdown. And new here at 6, Beaumont ISD police tell us the three teenage suspects arrested inside that school were in fact students. Now officers say one of them had been shooting a gun off campus. Then BPD officers saw the three jump a fence and they ran into the school. This is what it looked like inside of the classrooms as BISD police officers went in clearing them. Let's listen for just a moment. My goodness, scary for sure. And here's some video outside as parents line the streets, waiting in their cars, standing along the road, worried about their kids' safety. You worry about the welfare of your kids and how to drive from work to here, you know, just praying that, you know, the worst won't happen. We have live team coverage tonight, breaking down all the details and the questions so many of you still have. Now, Amelia White has been talking with students and parents about this big scary experience, but first we want to start with Cameron Seibert, and he has the timeline. Yeah, guys, here at Beaumont United, the craziness started around 9 a.m. with a power outage that left the school completely dark. Then about an hour and a half later at 1030, the school went into a lockout after reports of gunshots in the nearby vicinity of the campus. After that lockout, it turned to a lockdown after Beaumont police saw suspects jumping the fence and entering the building. Now, we, sh we show those images of parents outside the building. That was after they were notified to pick their students up at 11.15 a.m. because of that power outage. So many of them outside the school, but that pickup was interrupted when Beaumont police received reports of gunshots near the campus. Again, that was around 10.15. The school goes into complete lockdown. Nobody allowed in or out. Beaumont ISD Police Chief Joseph Malboro told 12 News that it was Beaumont police officers who actually saw those men jumping the fence and entering the school. They were able to detain the suspects, all three of them reportedly students. Nobody was hurt. One of those students was confirmed to have a weapon. It was a gun. Uh, and upon the campus sweep, we were able to identify the individuals, uh, that information that was provided with the description that were inside uh, of our campus area. We were able to remove them out, apprehend them, uh, and take them into custody. Pol Police have not said why these students went on campus with the gun. They say they are still investigating the incident. And tonight at 10, we're going to be breaking down the safety measures that are in place at Beaumont ISD schools for situations like this. What Police Chief Joe Marlboro says they learned about the situation today. For now, I'm live in Beaumont, Cameron Seibert, 12 News. All right, appreciate it, Cam. And it was certainly an emotional scene for lots of people when families were reunited at the front of the school. Many told us they were just happy nobody got hurt. Parents tonight say they're hugging their children a bit tighter after such a scary day. Let's continue our live team coverage now uh, with Amelia White. Yeah, she's been on that scene all day long, talking with the parents and students and, of course, police. Amelia, what have they been saying? Jordan Dage, I spoke with a Beaumont United High School student who was in the midst of this school scare and her mom who drove all the way from Selsby to pick her up. They say they're just thankful to see one another. What started off as a normal school day. I was in class and we were about to start our lesson. Ended in a school scare for ninth grade Caroline Deleon and the rest of Beaumont United High School students. I was just uh, scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. But if they kept on going, <laughs> it's, uh, I was just getting really nervous and I was about to break down in class. At first, it was just a lights out situation, according to school officials. When the power had went out and uh, we, we just sat there, we didn't know what was going on. Until her teacher told her to take cover. But then after that, he ran back inside and told us to start hiding. So I went under a desk and uh, got to hiding and told my family, like, hey, we're kind of in lockdown. BISD Police Chief Joseph Malbro confirmed there were gunshots fired near the campus, forcing the school to go into lockdown at 10:17 a.m. It's it just started clicking, and I kind of got a little worried and scared. So uh, my mom had called me from Selsby to Beaumont United. Her mom, Ingrid Delion, made her way to school grounds. I won't be comfortable until I hug them and I say that they're okay. Yeah, and it is a nightmare. It's something that, you know, 
you never think that it will happen to you. Chief Malbro tells 12 News three males jumped the fence of Beaumont United and entered into the school. We were able to identify the individuals, uh, that information that was provided with the description that were inside uh, of our campus area. We were able to remove them out, apprehend them, uh, and take them into custody. Once the threat was clear, school officials were able to release all 2,200 of their students to their parents at noon. An hour waiting on them to be released. I think they were the last one to be released, but I'm okay with it. As long as I saw them and they're safe and they're, they're with me, I'm okay with it. Again the, district, again, the district says no shots were fired on school grounds and no one was injured. I'm live at Beaumont United High School. Amelia White, 12 News. Emotional stuff there, Amelia. So, guys, stick with 12 News on air, online, and, of course, on our app as we continue to follow the very latest on this incident.